a lot of the trees on this property are well in excess of 100 years old. Mother Nature decided to take this big tree down in a storm. The tree has been cut up into eight foot sections, the main barrel of the tree. That's been loaded on all the small stuff underneath because the tree is green. The logs, as you can see, have been stacked in a staircase fashion on this side and the other side and they will fall in. We've picked today as a, uh, to do this because the wind direction by late afternoon is supposed to go northwest, which it is now. I think we better get on with the job and get this fire happening. I went and collected some of the pine needles. As that takes hold, it'll burn into the more secondary type fuels, creating more heat, and then it'll take hold into the greener material, into the bigger logs, and as you see, the fire will progress very quickly. And as you put the stuff on, you put your bigger stuff on like I'm doing, and there's getting a bit of heat in this fire. There'll be no stopping this now. This is gonna go. The only way to burn big logs like this is to have them side by side, higgly piggly. It takes two logs to burn one another out. If you only got one piece of wood, it's not gonna burn. Doesn't matter how big or small it is. You can see the fire attaching itself to the end of the log where the resin has come out of the timber since I've cut it. So there's enough natural accelerant in the heap to create this fire activity. And now the breeze is getting into your, your flame that she's really starting to get heat. As you can see, the fire activity is like a bushfire now, out this side. Gives you some idea, if you live in the bush areas, that's what you're gonna get. The wind now is lifting the bark, and we've got an ember fall out. You can see them against the sky. The fire is building because of the wind. So if this was in a suburban situation, you'd be burning your neighbour out five houses up. So it's not recommended to do this in the backyard. It's like dancing angels. You can always tell the intensity of a fire by the roar of it. That's hot. <laughs> 